What's going on YouTube, GS right here, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to use the Any Unlock software in order to bypass iCloud activation on some of the iOS devices, but also how to perform some verifications and how to check if the device had parts replaced and stuff like that before getting it. So this program is available here on the iMobi website, the iMobi Any Unlock is available for both Windows and Mac OS, and if you decide to buy it, they even have a 60 day money back guarantee. For iCloud activation it supports the normal activation screen, the lost phone mode, and of course other modes as well. But before we get into this, you should definitely keep in mind that this method is only for your own device that you purchased legitly. Please do not use this for any nefarious reasons. So how do you use the tool? Well, first you have to download it. The link will be in the description down below. And as you can see, I have the macOS version here. It comes in a DMG file, and then it has this installer, which is pretty easy to use. Once you have it, the program looks like this. Now, some things you need to know about this before we start. The iCloud bypass feature over here, the bypass activation lock, only works on iOS 14 and lower and only on iPhone 10 and older because this one is based around check rain. You should keep that in mind. The verification part works for all devices, but this one here, it has some limitations. Definitely do your reading over here before deciding to go with the program. But yes, it says in here all the devices that are supported, including the iPhone 10, iPhone 8 Plus, 7, 7 Plus and stuff like that, and the version supported, but iOS 15 is currently not supported for iCloud Bypass. It will be supported in the future, I'm pretty sure. So in order to bypass the device, we press here on Start, and as you can see, the device is already connected, it's already detected over here, and it says that this is the device, it's not jailbroken, and so on. So we will need to jailbreak it first, because that's how this bypass works. So I'm gonna press I have read the agreements here, and you should definitely read this, because it tells you exactly what's going on. Now this will be jailbroken with check crane once this is done, and because because Checkrain is a tethered jailbreak, this means that you're going to have to redo this bypass procedure every time you reboot your phone. It's a shortcoming of Checkrain and not the program itself. The program relies on a jailbreak in order to be able to deliver the bypass. You also will not be able to place any phone calls through your SIM card or receive any SMS messages and so on. You can install applications, but that's basically it. You can use applications, you can use Wi-Fi, but no SIM card. So once you agree with those, we press start jailbreak here, and as you can see it says downloading the jailbreak jailbreak tool. Now we have to put the device in DFU mode, so I'm going to do that by following the instructions on the screen. Now of course you should follow them for your device, you select it from there, if it's iPhone select iPhone and the model and so on, but in this case it's now jailbreaking in the background, you don't even have to jailbreak manually, it automatically jailbreaks for you and yeah the device has indeed rebooted and I'm going to wait for this to complete and be right back. Alright so after a while it will reboot and as you can see it says now jailbroken yes and now we have the bypass now button and here on the device I am screencasting it to the computer and as you can see it is indeed locked to iCloud. It will try to activate but then it will ask for a password. So with the device connected over here I'm going to press bypass now and wait for the program to do its magic. As you can see it works pretty fast and that's it. It says iCloud activation lock is bypassed successfully. Now my device resprung and that's it. As you can see now it shows basically the home screen and it works fine. Now the device is still not fully activated. You can use it until you reboot the device. If you reboot the device, you're going to have to do this procedure again. Now you also have CheckRain installed here on the device, and if you want to jailbreak your device with Cydia and so on, you're basically one step away. You just press Cydia and you press install, and you will have a jailbreak too. Jailbreak allows you to basically install tweaks and themes and stuff like that, so it's definitely useful, and the jailbreak will reactivate itself every time you redo the procedure after a reboot. But do keep in mind that Cydia is not necessary for the Bible best to work. You can see here that the phone does indeed work and it is connected right now to the computer and yes you can even connect your own Apple ID to get apps from the App Store but you cannot place any calls. So that's it we press done in here and another thing that I said I'm going to show you is how to perform an iDevice verification. If you want to basically verify if the device had any parts swapped or changed or the device battery health you press here verify device and it will generate a complete report which is actually quite great. You can see exactly what's going on over here. So you can see it believes that it's now 
now activated because it's bypassed, but in fact it's not. Here on Apple ID lock it says off because there is no Apple ID here on the device, but in reality Find My iPhone is indeed enabled, you should keep that in mind. Alright, so in here it says that the serial number matches the one from the factory and the UDID matches the one from the factory, that's a good sign. And then you can see exactly the model number and the Bluetooth MAC address, you can see if they were ever changed, the cellular address, WLAN address, serial number, mainboard serial number. So if anybody did a motherboard replacement on this device, you would see that because those numbers would not correspond anymore. This one is the factory serial number and this one is the one from the device. You can see that they match, which means this device did not have the motherboard changed. You can see that the battery serial number is this one here from the factory and is the same for the battery it has currently on the device. So the battery was never changed, is the original one over here. Same for the front camera or the rear camera, so you can do a little bit of a check on the device and you can even export the report. So yep, that's how you bypass iCloud and that's how you verify the device using any unlock. If you want it, you can definitely check it out in the link below on iMobi's website. There is a free trial available. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.